Ah, uh, Game Dude. You know, you guys may say he's a dead topic, but his fail levels are entertaining to me even in 2016. He no longer makes videos, and that's a shame because I'd rather watch these reviews than Eric Gamers. Not because they are better than Eric Gamers reviews, let's not kid ourselves, but rather it's because Game Dude's level of ineptitude is much more entertaining. So, without further ado, here is Game Dude's review of Felix the Cat on NES. Brace yourselves. Okay, let's skip this intro. I'd rather listen to modern country radio. Before Bugs Bunny, and before Mickey Mouse, came a cat. A wonderful, wonderful cat. Since 1919, Felix the Cat has entertained the world. He's the first massively popular animated cartoon star, and his theme song doesn't lie. You laugh so hard, your sides will ache, your heart will go pitter pat, watching Felix, the wonderful cat. This cat is hilarious, and very clever too. Okay, up until this point, the video wasn't that bad. But here comes the stupid part. Sadly, he has his own video game, Felix the Cat. Felix on crap! Epic fail. Wow, that was pretty bad. Especially considering that Felix the Cat is a pretty good game. The story is that Felix's girlfriend Kitty has been catnapped by the professor, and only by getting Felix's magic bag would he release her. But Felix says, fuck that shit. Dude, kid's game. I'm keeping the bag and getting my girlfriend back. What girlfriend? Oh, you're talking about Felix. Okay, okay. What? 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 Was that too low of a blow? My apologies. Not. And so the adventure to rescue Kitty begins. Between levels, the professor calls Felix to tell him how much more angry he is at his constant progress. But if he's making so much progress, why does he always return home? I have a better question. Who gives a fuck? And look how bad that jumping animation is. Horrible. It's a cutscene from an NES game, okay? The jumping animation in game is fine. The game is monotonous. Sure, it's fun at first, but later on, it feels like a chore. In fact, I'd have more fun taking out the garbage. Let me guess. Like this game? Like this game! You know, you have failed to show any real reason why this game is garbage. It sounds more like you're bitching than anything else. That might as well have nothing but ice levels, because the control is so fucking slippery. It's ridiculous. Damn! Really, because I've played this game, and the controls were not slippery. I personally think you just suck at the game. Airborne shooting is imprecise, and that fish is a bitch, because you keep shooting above it. Then how about you stop sucking at the game, because guess what? This game is really fucking easy. This is only a one-player game. But that's good, because who would want to play this piece of shit with you? Who'd want to play a game with Game Dude? Off-screen enemies are a bitch. Aw, oh, crap. You know, you could have jumped to the left of that platform and avoided that enemy. But then you wouldn't have something to bitch about, now would you? Some music is decent, while others are so horribly annoying. Really? I kind of liked it. They'd give me a worse headache than being in a room filled with 100 overly high-pitched singing cats while sunlight glares through all windows. I get it. I don't get it. Wow, the giant magic bags are even more magical. Whenever Felix goes inside one, he doesn't even go inside. Oh, wow. You discovered a glitch in a game. Congratulations, you're a winner. Getting a heart upgrades your power, but sometimes it's more of a downgrade. Like, why upgrade the magic stars that shoot everywhere to a car that only shoots forward to a fucking tank that uselessly curve shoots over everything? Simple. Each upgrade is more powerful than the last, but it's balanced out by making it harder to aim. Which, 
It really isn't that hard to aim anyway. Just move back a little and try again. And what's up with the kitty clouds? Some of them give you a 500 point bonus. Plus, if you attack the Professor Cloud multiple times, you, you get a letter that gives you a 1-up. So the clouds do have a point in the game. Bosses are fine, except this one. All you have to do is keep shooting with the car, and you'll win! The biggest problem is that this game is way too easy, even for a kid's game. Well then why are you having so much trouble? In fact, you die immediately after you make the statement. You nincome shit! This guy sucks! That's kinda like Kirby. Powers are similar, you can fly over everything, except those damn rocks. They are such a pain to avoid! Octoplatypussy wuss! Um... What? Octoplatypussy wuss! And it sucks! Um... That's how it ends? Seriously? Imagine if I ended a video like that.